Hey, Jason here, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about this one gallon Juniper Pro Commons Nana. I've got a lot of questions on how to choose the branches and how to style a tree of this size, uh, so let's get started right now. What we'll do first is we will uh, choose the front. After that, we're going to start choosing branches, doing a little bit of wiring, and then see what kind of tree we can make out of this thing. So let's pull this out of the can. Basically, the steps I'm doing right now are choosing the front, seeing what I've got potential for on these two trees. Um, each, every tree has some type of potential, uh, so I could actually work on both of these, but we're gonna, we can only choose, we're only gonna choose one this time around. So we're gonna see which one it is. I actually like this one. I think this one's kinda neat. It's really short. Um, this one, if we chose this one as the front, you can kinda see right around here that we could use this as the front right there, and that'll work out pretty well. Um, but I feel like doing this little guy right here because we could do a little bit of slant You can see one branch coming across like this if you look at the the front here um, But interesting enough the trunk is pretty thick if you look on this side right there the trunk is pretty thick So there is uh, it's gonna look pretty nice at least the trunk is gonna be thick enough that it's gonna have some weight to it And if we put it in a little pot, it's gonna look really good what we're going to do is clear this out a little bit. I'm going to get some tools over here. I'm going to stick and we'll clear out this so I can see the root base a little bit better. And basically right, right there, see the trunk, this branch is in the way, but you can see the trunk is right in there, right in there. And we're trying to expose it a little bit so we can see it clear. Of course, we can't get rid of too much, otherwise we won't, we won't mess up all the roots on the top there. So you can do this to some extent just to clear it out so you can see it. I'm gonna to try to make it, I'm gonna clean out a little bit on the bottom here of these branches that are just going down. And by branches, I just mean like the needles. On a Procomus Nana, it's always pretty thick, full of foliage. So you can always go in and pinch some out, especially the ones that are on the bottom of the branches. Now you can see a little bit more clear right there. Now I've got a better view in here. Okay, you can see you've got this long branch here. You got one branch here, and this branch actually is on the bottom layer Right there, it's coming off right there on the bottom branch. So if you're talking about first branch, usually you'd be like, oh, okay, that's a perfect first branch. The only problem is that if you look at this tree right here, then most of the weight is over here. So we're going to have to decide whether or not we even want to keep this one right here, this one right here. Okay. So how do I get started on something like this? Well, first things is that this is too bushy. See that? It's too much. It's too much going on. So the first thing you got to do is clean up. Clean up just means removing the needles that are on the bottom sides of the branches. If you've got a branch like this, see like, actually I use this one since you can see it a little bit better. See this one right here? That one, just clear all the ones that are going down. And the great thing about the Nanas, the Procomus Nana, the Juniper Procomus Nana, my favorite species, is that all these, these, all this foliage grows back so fast every season that you'll be doing it again not even too long from now. So even if you think you're pulling a lot of foliage out, you're not. It's gonna come back. As long as you don't pull everything off, um, it will come back in the season, the next season. Um, so you'll get all that back. Now the other thing about cleaning it out is see how it's all bushy right here, is that inside here, the light's not getting through. So if the sun's coming out from this side, all this section here in here, the light's not coming through. So you can plug some of those ones on the inside because those are gonna turn brown eventually. See, some of this is already turned around. See, like this one right here? Like this guy right here, that's a brown one. If you need to pull out the shears, use your shears. I've got my trusty Satsuki shear right here. So if you need to go in, trim some small ones. The one's going down, go ahead. The goal in this step is just to see, clear out and see what's going on. Well, it's kind of like, how do I know which one of these, which one of these branches I should pull out, right? It's like, which, how do I know which one? And really, like I said, it's the ones going on the bottom. See all this, this branch right here, this guy? All these ones on the bottom side right here are all cleared out. This one, too. This one, right along here. All this had like some needles coming out on these. You can see it was some I already cut and some that I already pulled. So you can pull those out because eventually you're gonna lay these down flat like this, right? You're gonna lay it down flat like that. So you don't wanna see any of this undergrowth here. So might as well clean it up now. Then you can see the structure. In one season, a lot of these are gonna come back. If there's adequate sun hitting the tree, then you'll get a lot of these needles coming back. So now, we're starting to see a structure here on the trunk here. Let me see if I can move these branches out of the way. Start to see a structure there on the trunk. Now, it's not fantastic. There's a little bit of curve right here, right there. Let me use a stick. Right in there. 
You see there's a little bit of a curve going up this way. It goes up through around like this. See that little curve right here? This guy's just totally in the way, but you can see that curve right there. So that's the, probably the nicest part of the tree that we're going to use. Um, unfortunately, it is leaning forward a lot, so we might have to use some wire to bring it up a little bit like this. Because if it's flat like this, it's going to be leaning forward too much. But we can also do another trick, which is just tilt it a little bit like this. If you tilt it up a little bit, then you'll be able to get, you'll be able to see that that movement without it leaning forward too much. Now I'm going to keep on cleaning, and you can see this long branch over here. It comes out this way. And I'm going to keep on cleaning it. This one, this one. You can see all this one down here. See all these come down on the bottom. I'm going to take those off. Cleaning is one of those things that is really important prior to designing your tree and the reason is just because you can't see the structure without cleaning it and once you do it and you can see the structure you'll be able to make those choices and choose those branches accordingly now the cleaning process doesn't all have to happen in one shot it doesn't have to happen in one shot now i've got these everybody always wonders like what should i do with these the ones that are coming out of the trunk these little ones well you just take those out because you've got your branch is developed over here, like this guy right here. You've got that branch developed right here. Let's see if we can see this. This guy right here. So you don't really need, let me move it up a little bit. So you got this one right here. So you don't really need these new ones inside, like these ones inside. You don't need them because you've already got the branch that grew out already. Now most of the time on these trees, especially the Pro is on it, is you will have more branches than you will need to design the tree. So most people try to keep as many branches as possible, but Really, for the structure, you only need a few of those branches to create it. Now, at this point, I actually haven't done any major branch cutting. All I've been doing is clean. See how much clean? It's less dense in there now. It's the same. You do it everywhere. Now, I can see that the tree, the majority of the tree, is over here. Okay, now let's take a look at the tree, the structure of the tree. It looks like a mess, and it's really weighted on this side here. This branch is way too long for the tree over here. The bulk of it's going to be over here. So now, when I'm choosing the branches which I can do at this stage. You know, I've done enough cleaning to see where all my branches are. Now the triangle that I'm going to do, because this tree is very small, see the trunk right there is very small. The triangle is going to be a small one. It's just going to be right around here. It's just going to be right there, right there. And you can say it's going to be just in this area right here. That's, that's actually the structure of my tree. So you can already see that these branches are coming out. Sometimes you'll save these guys that are coming out. If you need to create an apex at the top, that's a little bit more advanced. But for the most part, you know, if you're just starting out, you can shorten these up a little bit just to get them out of the way. See right there, it starts to bounce it out a little bit. You can see that. And then this guy right here on this side, this is the problem. Now, hold on, let me get rid of this one too. This one's coming out really far. And you can see from the triangle right in here, this side right here, this is gonna be far out too. So I'm gonna trim that back. You don't have to eliminate, but you can trim back to help you sort of do this incrementally. And the funny thing with this branch though, this one right here on the back, Okay, I'll try to show you this guy right here is that it's coming down right here so right down there it's coming down on the tree it's coming down and coming around and what that's doing is creating something funny on the bottom so actually I'm going to treat that as a branch that's just come down so I'm going to eliminate that one completely and that's going to lighten up this whole back section right here it's going to lighten up this back section so you can see I'm doing small cuts, incremental cuts, before just to set more of the foundation. Now, I've got most of my tree on this side, okay? Got most of my tree on this side. We'll use this towel here. And this is the problem, this guy right here. This clump of branches right here. Now, this one in the books, they are gonna say, okay, that's a great first branch right there. Now, the issue I have with it is that it's too far off on the left. This one's too far off on the left compared to the rest of the tree. So yes, it's a low branch and that could be a first branch. If I decide to use it though, I'm going to have to blend this tree, this part of the tree with the rest of this to keep, keep it coherent. Otherwise it's going to be its own little thing over here and this is going to be its own little thing here and it's going to be kind of disconnected. So in this scenario, you can make a choice. And in this choice, I don't like this first branch. This one right here. I don't like that it's off away from the rest of the tree on such a small tree. So I'm gonna use my first branch as one of these guys over here on this side, one of these guys on this side. And I'm gonna design the tree on this side. So it has sort of some weight and it's gonna kind of dip over a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit interesting. And I'm gonna get rid of this guy right here. Now, when you get rid of a branch, like this one, this big one, cut it back a little bit first. 
And you can see, cut off the foliage even if you want, or peel off everything, and see if there's a potential to create a gin. There might be. You know, I'm gonna cut off all the foliage on this branch, leaving just kind of the main branch with nothing on it. Now these are things you can do. Whether or not I decide to keep this, I'll decide later. But these are things you can do when you're working on a tree to either practice creating your gins, um, or just, you know, if you want to decide, if you're not totally sure if you want this or not, if you want to eliminate the branch completely, but sometimes you can create some interesting gins. I'm still going to shorten it, you know. So now I've got that weight off, right? I got the weight off of gin. I've just cut off all the foliage on it. That's all I've done. And now you can see that the weight is nice on this side of the tree, this trunk. Now, you kind of see that now. So now what we're going to do, take my little gin tool here. I'll gin this out a little bit more. I'm going to see what happens. Okay, so I'm just peeling all this off really quick. You know, take your time when you're doing this. It's kind of fun. That's sort of the point of doing this is that it's fun. And you want to take your time. You don't want to rush through this. So you can strip all the bark off of there. And then I can see how that looks. That looks a little funny. So I'll shorten this up a little bit. Shorten those up a little bit. Give them a little bit of a pointy edge so they look a little bit more natural. Split the edges a little bit. That's it. We'll see if that looks too much like a hook at the end, which it kind of does. Maybe I'll eliminate it. But for now, if you want to make things like that, if you want to do design things like that, you're welcome to. So now we've got this tree, the rest of this tree. Now you can see, since I cleaned it, and there's always more cleaning you can do. Some of this cleaning I'll, I'll do during wiring. And now it's going to come down to wire. So now I've got this big clump of stuff, right? Eliminated all this, so now I'm just dealing with this. You can kind of see there's starting to be a tree forming. Um, now, I'm going to show you how I, how I choose my branches. Now, the front, um, if you want to know how to choose the front, you can watch the video on how to choose the front. Um, but I did this one as the front. Now I'm going to start working on the actual branches of the tree. So, I'm going to go work on wire. I'm going to grab some wire really quick and we're going to work on this branch first. Okay, now this is where I start applying wire. Um, if you need to, you know, learn more about how to wire, uh, just watch my video on how to wire uh, a bonsai branch and then you can kind of see how I'm going to do that, how you do that. But the first thing I'm going to do, and this is how I always design my trees, is I work from the bottom up. So this is the first branch I'm going to do right here, this guy right here. So let's wire that really quick. Here's a little trick you can do. So I wired this guy right here, this little one right here, just that part right there. And it's a little bit hairy still, so what you can do is just shorten it by cutting back on the branches. And what this does is it contains the growth. Now this is not the same as cleaning, this is cutting it back to shorten the growth so that it's not as bushy. And you would just, now you don't cut across the, t the tips, like across everything. Just try to find where it joins or where the new shoots come out of and cut back to those locations. Okay. So, just doing the first branch right there, and I've got that down. And I already can tell that this is going to be low. Now this tree is going to be different. It's going to be a little bit of a semi-cascade coming down. A little bit. Because this, this branch here, this trunk right here, it comes up. Let's see if I can show you without being in the way. This one right here comes up and around. And what I kind of wanted to do is dip back down this way. So I'm going to bring all this foliage down like this. And then I'm going to leave this short a little bit shorter and let this kind of cascade over. So now I can start my, my first choice on my branch. So now I can make a choice on this branch. I've got this branch right here. And I've got this one coming down that can take its place. So I'm going to eliminate that one. Because it was going too far out this way anyway. So it's going too far out this way. I can bring this branch here that I just wired. And put that into that spot. And create my first pad right there. Right there on the bottom. That first pad. So now I've basically used two branches. These two those two right there together to create one bottom pad. And that's my first branch, the lowest branch. So that's how I made my first elimination. It was, remember it was this branch on this side right here. It was coming down this way. So it was giving me too much. Otherwise I'd have this whole section two full branches. So I eliminated one so I can just use this guy as my main one right there and eliminate the other one. Now I can kind of see in here, there's a lot of growth that's unnecessary. So I'll eliminate some of that. A lot of growth on the inside, right in this area. I'm going to eliminate that because I'm going to have branches. The next one, I, the next, 
And this right there, what I'm doing right here is I'm just shortening that up like I was explaining before, just so the pad's not so heavy. Okay, you can kind of see it's starting to get that first pad. Okay, so now, see I can clean up because now I eliminated these ones in here, right in there, because this branch is going to sit right over it. So if I have branches there and a branch over it, the sun's not going to hit those, so I eliminate those because this guy's going to cover them, and this is going to fill in that gap right there, fill in that layer right in there. Right in there. So, then we'll wire that one. That's a little one. First, we're gonna see what's going on in the back here. Okay, the back, you just wire them down. So, these ones, I've got too many. This one, I've got too many on the back here. I don't need that many. So, I've got three branches one, three branch one, two, and three. I've got too many. Now, first, I need to clean up a little bit. Got way too many. Just for that one back branch, I do not need that many. So I'm gonna eliminate two of the small ones. I'm gonna keep the bigger one. And I'll put that right in the back right there with wire. So I'm gonna wire this one. It's a really small wire. I can lay it flat right in the back. Now it's still kind of hairy. So I can go in and just do my trimming on the top, just to decrease it a little bit, the weight of it. Okay, so now I've got this pad laid out a little bit better. Now this one's a little too long. You can kind of see on the triangle right here, the triangle right here. If you look at it like this, the triangle right there, it's a little bit hairy on some sides and it's extending too far. So you can take your shears and cut back some foliage. You have to keep that nice and compact. Yeah. Starting to look a little bit better. We're getting there. We only did the first step, so now we keep going. So now I've got tons of branches right in there. And really, the only thing you can do is start wiring. Now the inside things, you know, the things on the inside here that are completely inside and eliminate. So it leaves all the branches and all their foliage is on the outside. So for example, this branch right here, this one right here, all this stuff on the inside right here would go. All this stuff on here would go. All the stuff on the inside. So you just leave the outside edges. So if you had little things like this, like this thing, say that was the branch, then you pluck that off. Now, let's do some wiring. Now we just go up the layer like this. If I'm on this layer, I go up to the next layer, which is right here. So from this layer, and then I go up one layer, and then I go up one layer. Just keep on going up layers. So now I don't see a lot to eliminate. I actually need these branches. So I'm going to wire these little branches. Now, like I said, if you have to go back and trim, if they're too tall, go back and trim off the top. That's fine. Just make sure you cut at where the buds appear and not across the shoots. Otherwise, you'll get brown needles. And just keep working yourself up the tree. Okay, and all I'm doing is going one step by step up the tree, finding branches that need wiring, and just wiring them down. The ones near the joints, you know, if the branch is coming here, the ones right in the joints, right where the connection is made, right where the new branch shoots out, those ones, like this one, say it's right inside there, you can take those out. Okay, I've got an interesting branch on here, this side right here, that one right there, and we'll eliminate this guy right there, because it's right inside the curve, it's going down, I've got plenty of branches on the outside of the curve right there I can use. I'm going to eliminate that one. As you go through in designing, you'll start to see more branches going down because they're starting to create the structure. You'll start to see those branches sitting down. And you'll actually just probably just want to cut them because you'll see them. I think it's always better to wire the branches and then, you know, when you're first starting out, wire them and then you can decide whether or not you want to keep them. But if you start, go, if you start cutting everything too soon, you'll find that you'll regret that you cut that branch and then you got to wait for a couple seasons for that one to grow back and that's discouraging so I always recommend wiring it if you're in doubt because you can always eliminate it after you put it in this spot but if you if you go ahead and cut it too soon then it's gone and then you're just going to have to wait now this one remember I cut this one on the inside and here you can still see the cut right there but I cut that one because I had this one so I'm gonna wire that one in place Wow. 
expire it, you kind of know what's going up, what's going down. So you can eliminate or you can cut back using the shears. Almost got everything wired here. Just a few more. Got one tiny branch at the back. I'm gonna do it really quick. Now we're getting to the fun part. Got my wiring done. Now we get to cut some final branches to see the design here. So I've got this tree. And it's a little bit equidistant on both sides, this side to this side's the same. Um, we've got one, this is our first branch, right, that we chose. And it's a pretty thick branch, if you see it, right here. It's a little thick. Oh, there, you can see there. But it's smaller than this one right here, this one right here. And we've got to eliminate this one. It's too heavy on this side, it's equidistant on both sides from the apex, which is right there. So, i got to eliminate this guy right here. And I'm going to do a whole, I'm going to do a complete elimination on this branch. So that's gone. Okay. And what that does is it lets me bring this one into its spot to take its place. Grab this one right here. Extend that out a little bit. And now the majority of the weight is going to be on this side of the tree. I've got this branch sticking out right here. This one right here, which is a little too thick. So I'm going to shorten that. My favorite part the trimming part. Okay, but now it's still kind of messy, so I'm gonna go in here with my shears, and we'll clean up places that I feel that the foliage is too thick, and we'll clean up, try to lighten it up a little bit. Uh, so I've got most of this done. Um, there's a few more things I wanna do. Uh, some more wire I wanna add. Um, this, this branch right here I'm gonna eliminate. Right around this front area, it's a little bit too thick, and I can't really see the rest of the tree, so I'm gonna eliminate this one right here. And that's more so I can see this movement coming on the tree right there, so I can see the trunk. So a few more wires here, just complete it. Go over at the apex a little bit. Okay, so it's starting to look decent. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting branches in between the pads so that we can see through it. We can see through the branches. The refinement stage here where you're just choosing the final branches is probably the most fun part. You get rid of a lot of unnecessary stuff and cut the ones that are too tall. And then you can take a look at that top view. So you can kind of see it's still a big ball and I kind of want a diamond here. Make some cuts here. Right here I've got a little gap, but I've got plenty of time for this to grow in, fill that spot. So there it is. There's like a 360 view of it. Now remember we're going to be top potting it at this type of angle right here. We're going to be potting it more at that type of angle. So when you rotate it, it's going to look a little bit like that. Yeah, kind of like that. All right, so just a quick review. Uh, how we did is we eliminated this branch down here, and then I used my first branch on this side, on this side right here, and layered that out. And then I eliminated some branches on the inside. As you, when, we were, when we were going through the process, we eliminated some extra branches that were in the way of that first branch. And then we used this one on this side, and I eliminated some branches here. There was a thick branch coming down right down here. That was too long and too thick for the rest of the tree, so you can still see the cut right there. That one with the second layer on this branch right here, created that, just wired it. And then on the back did the same thing. The apex, I put some really thin wire just so it doesn't stick straight up right there, just to curve it down a little bit right there. All right, so some of the things I didn't cover with this tree were some uh, common sort of branch, uh, branch flaws that you see in uh, bonsai trees. That would include parallel branches, pocket branches, uh, spoke branches, bar branches. Um, those didn't really come up in this one, in this tree, so I didn't really discuss them. Uh, but I can do that in another video. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I'm looking forward to putting this in a little pot. And then, and then I'll be done. So thanks for watching. Give me a like if you like the video. And subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Otherwise, see you guys next time.